right? Ah, yeah, I'm still going, actually. It's breezy, though. Is that? It's a breezy. It is now, yeah. yeah. You're you with the breeze? Or we got a uh, oh, I can choose. I've got 70 k's to go, so... Oh, God, how long are we doing? 300. <laughs> Welcome back to the Friday Vlog Series where today I'm gonna to share with you the Ride With Me adventure experience of riding 300 kilometers or 186 miles in one day in aid of raising awareness and funds for mental health via the Knights of Suburbia and the Love Me, Love You Foundation. There was no specific route or route during today's ride. It was just about getting the kilometers under the belt and of course, hanging with good friends. So some good times and laughs are in store in today's video. And on top of that, I wanna share with you how this bike behind me here delivered. In fact, I'm surprised upon reflection about a few characteristics of this bike that enabled me to get through the 300 kilometers in pretty reasonable form, especially for somebody who didn't do a large amount of prep leading in to the big day in the saddle. But before we get into it, I just wanted to excuse my absence over the past week or so for those of you who follow and support the channel on a week to week basis. Behind the scenes, I've been busy getting the new up-level road cycling course ready, which has quietly opened up today for those cyclists out there keen to take their performance to the next level. The doors are open to the course until next Friday, the 14th of November. So links below if you wanna check it out and join me in the up-level road cycling course. And lastly, if you're watching this video today, I could almost guarantee you've got the internet and if you've got the internet, the problem with the internet is there's a whole bunch of weird and wonderful creatures out there that try and do strange things, fraudulent things, ID theft, etc. So I wanted to thank today's video sponsor being Surfshark, who are an award-winning VPN service provider encrypting your online data via an array of online servers or what I call your online security guards to help you stay private and protected online every day. It's hassle-free, super easy to download to your devices or your machines and the best part, rather than pay $18 AUD per month over 24 months, they're offering a ridiculous 83% off to Cam Nichols YouTube viewers, which works out to be $3 AUD per month. Enter the promo code Cam Nichols to get your offer. And thank you to Surfshark for the kind offer to the audience and also supporting my YouTube channel. So we're gonna start here at 30 kilometers into the ride. I just warmed up. I was heading for a pre-ride coffee before the fast Saturday local bunch ride, which goes for 70 kilometers. So I thought this would be a good way to start the ride, get my first 100 kilometers under the belt. So let's get into it. Any of those spots to do with? Can you show us what we got on the bars, Mike? I don't do well on camera. I go all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is this? Show us. Little, little treats. <laughs> Feel free to take one. We can have one now. It's not even six o'clock. <laughs> Arm and latte, yes, please, mate. Thank you. Double. All right, the first stop in. Best coffee shop in Noosa, Punchia Cafe, 30 k's in, times 10 to go. I normally get out on the bunch. Yep. Was that intentional, Ian? <laughs> Turning the screw up the hill? Was that yep. pointed at me by any chance? He's like, what screw? I'm getting you back after last yeah. week. <laughs> is, this, is, is this the prostate stop? Is that what we call it? Panoma? <laughs> Enlarged prostate? Everyone that needs to go taught, 65 k's in. Here we go again, yeah. Ah, here we go again. Let's do it one more time, yeah. It's 
socks. Cheese and Vegemite now. Cheese and Vegemite. Mixing it up. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Puncher does. Puncher makes the best coffee in this So, with 100 kilometers under the belt, I was now in transition mode. After my post-ride coffee, I would head back home, swap bikes, because I wasn't overly eager to ride the Cannondale System 6 for 300 kilometers, but I wanted to ride it in the fast Saturday bunch ride in preparation for the review coming on the channel on that bike shortly. And in addition to swapping bikes, I was also meeting a good mate of mine, a very good mate actually, old school mate of mine, Scott Ginnivan, who was joining me for the next section of the ride for the next 120 kilometers. This morning was, was good. I think I went a bit deep though. For, uh, really? Yeah, ah. 200 to go. So I'm home, <laughs> gonna do a bike, like in the <laughs> bike swap. Cannondale's going inside, I'm not riding that thing 300, as fun as it is. My good mate, Scotty G-Man, from originally a schoolmate, now lives in Brisbane, is joining me for the last 200, yeah? Sure. 120. The jersey for Scott. So we're 130, how many Mike? 130? 130. 130 in, nice tailie, heading towards Twin Waters. How many of those lolly things have you had? Uh, 12. 12. Scotty G-Man's behind, he's feeling fresh. Feeling good right now. How about you, how are you feeling Mike? Yeah, feeling okay for now. I don't think a sandwich so hard to get into. Everything you just don't stop eating, do you? Oh, it's good. What is it? Oh, simple. Quality tomato, cheese, and ham. Yes. Free range. The food of non champions. <laughs> don't touch the lens. Half full of ice. So, what do we do with the rest of the ice? Well, yeah, I mean, you could try and resell it, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Half a bag of ice? Put it down your pants. Oh. That's <laughs> as good as jumping in a swimming pool. So Mike said he's never done the ice trick with a skin suit on, it's just gone down the crack. Quite yeah. enjoyed it, haven't you? It's a bit of a different feeling. <laughs> Tell you when it melts. <laughs> I've just got a flat tyre on the road over there in the most perfect position. Hang the bike, look at that. I've got Mike working on the on the job. You and me together, the guys, the guys, the guys, the The downside of lollies on your top tube. Fair bit of residue there, Mike. Fair bit of residue, but it goes with the Hubbard look that I'm going for. <laughs> So just what are we, just over halfway, 69.9. It's bloody hot, isn't it, Mike? What do you reckon? I think you're ready to play tennis. <laughs> When was the last time you rode over 100 k's? <laughs> so just me left now, 70 k's to go, but I gotta go vote. Let's go plenty of these boxes here. And okay, thank you. You go first. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So I've just voted and now it looks like there's going to be a huge thunderstorm that's going to smash me for the last couple of hours of this ride. In 2010 thought I was doing something. So 257 in, 43 to go. I've got myself a little treat just to get myself over the line and I'm going to go to the Criterium track. 
and finish off the last 43 because it's going to rain I don't want to get this camera and my other camera saturated so I'm going to do some laps to finish off So there were major thunderstorms rolling in. In fact, my wife was sending me pictures over SMS to really calm my nerves surrounding one of the most dangerous storms Queensland has had in years. With incredible hail ripping through the Gold Coast and parts of Brisbane just down the road, and on either side of the Criterium track, an electrical storm was occurring that ended up leaving tens of thousands of houses without power for days. But was I lucky enough to miss this heaving storm? Let's find out. So I cannot believe I've gotten through the last part of this ride and not been absolutely pissed on. Although I think it's, well I keep saying that, I think it's only a few minutes away. But I'm done, I've got 298 on the clock. It'll take me two k's to get home. I've got a little stop on the way home and then I am done. You can get it riding, you can get it sliding. You can feel it coming on about four. So I got through the ride on just under an average of 30 kilometers per hour. I did a fair amount of work in the morning bunch, not crazy, but I didn't hold back and Ian ensured I PB'd my Black Mountain time. I got a bit of a sit behind Mike's wheel at times during the midsection and from 170 kilometers onwards, I rode the front 90% of the time and then I dropped off Scott with about 70 kilometers to go and I picked up the pace towards the finish. So with a pretty poor preparation leading in in terms of training and coming off the back of a winter and spring period where I probably averaged about five to six hours per week on the bike, how could I get through this ride without being absolutely destroyed? In fact, when I finished the ride, I felt like I could keep going. And in the days that followed, I started to ponder and I realized and recognized a few things, that being the BMC team machine is built for endurance riding. While it's not an endurance road bike, technically it can act like one with its incredible soft back end and forgiving front end. And if you want more information on the BMC team machine, I did a review on it and I'll put it up somewhere there. But in addition to the BMC team machine, I know some of you may be speculating it was the saddle if you follow my channel, but no, it wasn't. It was actually the shorter crank. So in recent times, I have changed from 170 2.5 millimeter cranks to 165 millimeter cranks. And once again, if you missed that video, I'll put it up here somewhere. But essentially, the shorter cranks inadvertently require you to pedal at a higher cadence. While that puts more stress on the cardiovascular system, it takes away pressure from the musculoskeletal system and over the course of riding for 10 hours, my muscular fatigue was evident, no doubt, but I didn't have any of those periods where I felt like I had to stop external to refueling. You know when you find yourself in those holes during longer rides for maybe half an hour or an hour and then you manage to get your way out of them? Well, I didn't experience that at all, which is super rare given my preparation. Also, it was a hot day. It was about 28 degrees for most of the day, and also the humidity was about 60 to 70%. And this outcome of shorter cranks is something that expert bike fitter, Neil Stanbury suggested would be the case when riding long distances. So I would say if you like big days in the saddle, then shorter cranks is definitely something that you should look into, including, not sponsored, I just like the BMC team machine, looking into a BMC team machine SLR01. Now, the final thing that I wanted to share with you and I wanted to thank is people that donated to my cause for mental health. I put your names up on the screen and while it wasn't a huge amount of people, I just wanna say thank you very much. And I wanted to leave with just reiterating something that I've said in previous videos surrounding mental health and that is, if you're not feeling okay, it's completely okay. It's okay to not feel okay, but the best thing that you can do external to going for a ride with your mates and having a bit of fun is talking to somebody about it. And if you can't talk to somebody that's close to you, I'm gonna put some numbers in the below video description area. And I please make the call if you feel like you need it. I'll catch you all in the next video.